call me crazy, but I'm going to jump straight into hacking this uh, Tyrannus QX7 radio and make it into the absolutely perfect radio in my eyes. Uh, what I want to do is swap the momentary switch from the top right to the top left, which works better for me. So, unfortunately, you just can't unplug them and swap them over. You have to clip the wires and actually re-solder them. So, they were this way. That's the momentary switch. That's the two-position switch. And all I've done is just clip the wires on each side, and I'm just going to swap them over and re-solder them. I also want to put uh, a pot on the side of the radio uh, to act as a slider so that I can operate it while flying for doing flaps and brakes and things like that. So all I have to do for that was take the screws out of this board here uh, and undo the pot. And I'm just going to drill a hole and mount it in the side there. may seem a bit radical but I love doing this sort of stuff and I haven't destroyed a radio yet so I'm confident that's about the right spot for the slider. So I'm just going to drill a hole there, drill a smaller guide hole, then enlarge that hole. Oh, here we go. No guts, no glory. So it needs about a 7mm drill be the right size. That's perfect. Now can I fit it from the inside? Yes, look at that. A little bit tab on there that's making it sit up a bit. So I've just filed that little tab off so it'll sit flat now. That's going to work beautifully. Now I'm going to re-solder the switches Now this is the momentary switch and I want that on the left hand side, so this is correct. Bit of heat shrink and we are good. I put a cross on the side that goes up so I don't forget. That just sips back in there. And we just tidy up these wires and put them all back in. Now I do the other switch. Now this pot is going to probably poke out too far, so I've made up a little spacer to go on the inside there. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be good. I've removed the pot, the left hand pot, uh, and moved it over onto the side so I can, I can fly it, I can operate it with my forefinger, left forefinger while I'm flying. Um, similar to the Tyrannus. Uh, now this Tyrannus slider moves through about 70 degrees. So I need to sort of limit the movement of this pot here from the full, what is it, almost 300 degrees to the 70 degrees like the Tyrannus. I have a spare uh, Tyrannus slider knob so I can use that. This one actually does move through 300 degrees but it's limited by its movement by the, the casing and when you do the calibration in the software uh, that tells the radio the upper and lower limits are the 100% uh, points even though you're only using say you know a third or a quarter of the the full rotation so we're going to do the same thing on the uh, QX7 to make the Tyrannus slider knob fit onto the X7 knob I needed to take about a five millimeter drill and just clear out those little lugs inside. I need to clip off that little side bit. So that is now a nice tight fit. Very good. Shorten the shaft, just cutting it off with a hacksaw. That's now fitting down a lot closer to the housing. So this is what I've come up with. I've just put a little bolt in there with a nylock nut on the inside and a spacer nut on the outside. And that just works like the Tyrannus slider. Glued that knob back on in place. Doesn't do anything other than cover the hole. Now all we need to do is uh, calibrate it. I'm all finished now. Here's my slider. Uh, I've got a stop up the top to sort of set the upper point. And the lower point is just 
pointing down. Um, what I tend to do is have the slider at the at the top point uh, for level flaps and then down for full flaps or crow braking and then back up again. So I'm sort of using it like that as the glider is coming in but then I just whack it back up to the top. I've calibrated it. Glider warning. Yuck. Switch warning. Horrible voice. So you can see the display here. I've calibrated it so that it's 100% up the top and 0% down the bottom like that. And that took a little bit of mucking around because this pot seems to have sort of big dead bands at each extremity. So I had to get the right position for the uh, knob to be on the shaft so that I didn't run into those dead bands. So that's sort of the extent of the lower rotation and then upper rotation would go back around to that position as well. But Anyway, I only want to use that half of the rotation so that's working well now. The reason you're hearing that uh, American, the original American voice is that uh, the Australian uh, voice pack that I loaded on before is not actually designed for this radio and although the um, startup sound is correct, uh, other voice commands may not be correct so thanks to, I think it was Rob B that pointed that out to me, thanks mate. Um, we have to wait until the developers catch up with this radio before I uh, flash it to uh, OpenTX 2.2, I mean the, the proper OpenTX. For the moment I'm just using the preloaded FR Sky version uh, which is fine to start off with.